Hi, it's Mrs. Golding. I'm wondering if that camera is wigging out as much as it looks like it is. Let's just get rid of that. That looks scary. Hopefully you can see me, or you can't see me, but you can see what I'm doing. So um, I am going to, uh, for this week's Friday paper, this is Friday paper 36. Um, it is due May 17th. So I'm going to walk through some problems with you. And we're gonna, we've done many of these in class. So instead of um, just finishing these, I'm gonna actually just get them started for you because I think you can finish them. So, all right, so we need a common denominator. So I'm gonna just write, if I'm adding or subtracting, I need a least common denominator and I need to make these improper. I don't have to, it's just easier, okay? This is an easier way to make those. Make that improper, make this improper, and then I'm going to keep, change, flip, okay? So this is kind of what I need to be doing here. So seven and three are both primes, so we actually have to multiply them in order to get uh, the least common multiple. So the least common denominator is the same thing as the least common multiple between these two numbers. So we need to have that for both of these. So 3 times 7 is 21. 2 times 7 is 14. 7 times 3 is 21. 1 times 3 is 3. So I want you to finish that one. Then for this one, we need the least common denominator between six and eight. Now be careful, these are not both primes. Um, so they actually have a common multiple that's less than 48, okay? So I always take the larger number and I just start multiplying it. So six does not go into eight evenly. Eight times two is 16. Six does not go into 16 evenly. Eight times three is 24. And six does go into 24 evenly. Okay, so 8 times 3 is 24, 3 times 3 is 9, and 6 times 4 is 24, 1 times 4 is 4. Now you finish, okay? So making this improper is going to make your life a lot easier. It's not the only way to do it. 12 times 2 is 24, plus 1 is 25, over 12. And 5 times 1, so I should be clear on what I'm doing here. Multiply those, add these, and you go in that direction, right? 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9 fifths. Now, I don't want to try to figure out, figure, figure out what 25 times 9 is. That's too hard. So I'm going to, I wonder if I can get my face back. How do I get my face back? I don't know. Can't get my face back. Don't nobody nobody wants to see your face, Miss Golding. Okay, fine. Um, but let's look at twenty-five and five. What's the um, what's the what's a common factor that they share? And the greatest common factor is the best. So um, they both have a five, right? So five divided by five is one. Twenty-five divided by five is five. And 9 and 12 have a common factor. And the greatest common factor is 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. So now we can multiply straight across. And you can leave that improper. That will be fine with me. As long as it's in simplest form, meaning you can't simplify with common factors, improper is totally fine. Okay. Um, some of you like to make, so for 17 and 18, some of you like to make those improper and then do your math. I don't even want to begin to think what 14 times 8 plus 3 is because that's going to be giant and I'm going to make a mistake. If you want to do it that way, you certainly can. I just feel like that's making life a little harder. Try to keep life simpler if you can. So 3 times 3 plus 1, so 10 thirds divided by 15 over 1, right? We're just going to make that a fraction. And now keep it, change it, flip it. 
And I want you to do the same thing we did over here where we simplified first and then multiply straight across. Okay, so hopefully those four you will master um, with the help of this video. So guys, you are important and the world needs you and so do I. I hope you have a fabulous day.